Thank you for waiting till we all got here to be able to do the boxes. And Excuse me, but has this really been allowed in the house? She never, never has gone in the house before. Okay, Don't yeah, look at I me can Because you'll be able to tell I'm telling a fib. <laughs> That's the Bonnie. The cat told me as well as if she could speak That's English. Bonnie. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, first off, um, thank you, Mudgy. And Mish, thank you and Vern again for yesterday for doing the, the flash sale. You two are an awesome team and so much appreciated. And I also appreciate Mudgy doing um, boxes, being the cat Terry. And I appreciate our our um, mod team that does the flash sales. You guys are awesome too. And I'd also like to say, just in case uh, Purple is on, uh, that we're very, very, very sorry for the loss of her Jeff. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. And um, Purple, just know that we love you so much. And um, just know that we care very, very much about you. So, okay. Let's get busy. This is the new Zelda. She's changed her size and her colors. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's get busy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 boxes. And Pat, we got a bunch of stuff in here too. Okay. And all the boxes we're supposed to save, but we're just gonna heave them into Kitty City. Okay. Thank you, boxes. Whoops. <clears throat> oh, I don't have a cold. It's not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> um, this is from. Thank you. I gotta put the letters together. Judy and Lee. This is from Judy and Lee. Judy and Lee's been doing some shopping for us. We have a case of um, baby food, the chicken beech nut. This is the one I always reach for when I need more juice. And speaking of beech nut, baby food, um, Nona sent us, oh gosh, oh, I'm sorry, it was five or six boxes of the baby food. And Nona, if you're on, I had full intentions of writing you a note today telling you that they did arrive and they're all together, and none of them was um, broken, and uh, we have them on our shelf and using. So, um, Nona, I appreciate that too. And thank you, Judy and me, for that one. Probably. She'll probably tell us to put it there. Um, oh. This goes, oh, isn't that, oh, oh it's like That's a little fine. snacker bin. Well, in some homes it would actually be what the food was getting Oh, in, food would be in? Oh, not this place. Oh, one can. <laughs> it's a snacker bin. Oh, a 2018 calendar. That is very, very pretty. Oh, it's really. It's, oh, it's a stand-up, a 2018 calendar, all with pictures. You, you wanna, you wanna take it over there so I don't lose it today. Mm -hmm. And oh, 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 I so might need sweet. help. Can I try again? I might need help, and I should know. I think who this is from, but I don't. We have two kids, we have, oh no, the kitty toys are hooked to a little, um, oh, this, this is like Persian size, baby Persian size. Aww. We should take that back to the Persian room. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're so deprived back here. They are, and these are cat in the box pencils with the erasers of cats. Oh, those are oh, cute. Those are really cute. Cat in the box. Pencils. You, 
I, I might need help with this of knowing who this is from because I don't have a name on the outside. <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. These are coasters and I should know because I think I was sent an email and I'm embarrassed to say I my mind is all fuddle. Wow, these are glass coasters. So you will see these again in a flash sale. Right, Mish? Those are cool and they have the little patty paws on the bottom. Wanna mark this is and this one and there's also two signs cats cats are just little people in fur coats cats are like chocolate it's hard to have just one <laughs> that's a good one it's oh, very very true both of them and this one, I think we need to keep in here as a snacker bin. I can't even get me one of those. That's just as cute as we can be. Yeah, mine's not either. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> and a bag of, of dry candy food. I almost feel, oh no, it is crunchy. We'll add this to our bin. Yeah. <laughs> Sonia. I wonder if the kitties could get that open very easy. Ours I like here? That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Octavia's not here to teach yeah, them. Yeah, she was not here to teach them. Thank you. That's a pretty cool box. That came from oh, Global Priority. Oh, George. It's from George M. From Scotland, UK. Oh, there we wow. Go. I didn't see it. I'm so sorry. George M. from Scotland, UK. Thank you, George. Yeah, there you go, Mudgy. Did you get that one? George M. from the UK. Isn't that awesome? This box here is from our wonderful friends, uh, Elaine and Alan B. from Florida. They send this to us every single month. And it's crazy how fast these months are going. Um, this box, this thing belonged to a box that had a 40 pound bag of the precious kitty litter in it. They always send us a bag every month. And I that thank you so for that. Nice. Yeah, because there's food in here from them. And then there's litter. So you eat and you poo. So this is also from Elaine and Alan. I think they must have this set up as an assortment of what they do. <laughs> this is a 32 pack of Friskies. All of this is used, every single morsel. A 32 pack, and then there's two of the 24 packs of the meaty, meaty favorites. Has full, these are all fillets, there's two of these. You want to do a separate one since there's one more in there? Yeah, one more in there. One more. Okay. So there's two 24s wow, sir. and one 32. And another 24. This is the pate. What are you doing up here, Bounty? And um, there's, oh good, a packet of the appetizers. We try to go sparingly on these, but um, I do use a little bit in the mornings when I do my breakfast. A couple. Just a couple. <laughs> and also in Elaine and Alan's, there's a 24 pack of the Fancy Feast. So this is all the food one, the other one's all the, all the litter one. Thank you, Elaine and Alan. You you help take good care of us. Hey, what are you doing, little baby? Go bother Auntie Pat. Elaine and Alan, they have been up here, haven't they? Yes. Yes. Yes, they have been here. Sweeties. Very, very nice people. 
Snickers mom, Snickers mom from who D E is Delaware, oh. Delaware. Oh, ooh la la. Check this out. Zelda likes these. These are not for you alone. No, you just lay right down. Look at all these. Holy mackerel! There's, there's twenty of these. My gee, there's 20 of these. These are um, the Sheba meat sticks. And I do take some of these when we make up our packets for the uh, Kobe's every morning. For those that maybe see the, when we do breakfast, I always take a packet of snackers and then we pour either like a little salmon juice or tuna juice in it and then a couple of these in it too for the Kobe's. So they do get this. And you are a great packer. She, <coughs> she says, Snickers mom says, who, and Snickers mom is Becky W. And Snickers and Inky. She says, I pack boxes for my job. I can tell you're a good packer. <laughs> These, we can probably just take this right out. This, we've got two packages of the party mix. Two of these. Is this what you're looking at? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. And then here's the other one. And then there's two of the cans of chicken, which I use a couple, few of these a week. To, I'll eat just myself for the breakfast meals. And we'll take these out. There's th four pet bottle nursers. Mm. And a couple potty bags. And there's four um, hearts pet nursing bottles. Wow. <laughs> Snickers mom, Snickers mom and Inky's mom, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we'll put this out there and uh, then I'll sort it all because Mary's not here right now. So if we take it, all this out to the cold cave, I'll sort it. Wow, I got it built down to work out there in the cave tomorrow. These go um, over there, like on the ledge by the tent. So thank you, yeah. This one is from our friend Ruth D. from North Carolina. Ruth D. Oh, and look at the, look at our stationery, the, the horses. A handmade kitty print laundry bag to be used however you like. All the best, Ruth. A handmade kitty print laundry bag. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's cute. What's that adorable fabric? That's, it's a handmade um, kitty print laundry bag. Or we could use this for a different stuff. Huh? Can I get through there? So we Ruth, this is really cool. Yeah. Thank you. I think this would be ideal. Like to carry all of our stuff out to the pole and some of the outside things that we do. Don't have to use a basket or anything, can just use this. Whoa, thank you, Ruth. I'm gonna set this in here and we'll try that tomorrow. Yeah, pretty cool, Ruth, thank you. Yeah. Let's see if it
is from Jeanette B. Our friend Jeanette B. Oh, Mudgy, I think you are so right. For Brenna and Clay to find a home together. Yeah. Can you, you guys can't see that little flash of tail at the bottom? That's Elsie. She's deciding whether to make the big jump. I'm afraid you're going to fall, though. Say hey everybody. I'm an investigator. Yeah, so oh this came from Chewy. They have they have good cardboard boxes for packing. Jeanette B. You know the way to the kitty's heart. Look at this. See she recognizes party mix containers. Here's one and two. And three, and I appreciate this because we are definitely getting more. Well, one of these could go in that container back there, Lynette, to mix in. And there's also from Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette, we have two people that are sending us. I just found this out today. There's two people that are sending us the perfect bistro Thanksgiving Day dinner. And we will have enough to do all the kitties in here for Thanksgiving Day and the Porchies, the Barneys, the Fire Cats, and the Colbys. And with we have two people sending this for us, and we can do the breakfast and their supper. And these are, they really are called Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day Dinner. Oh my word. Uh huh. <laughs> it's deboned turkey and turkey broth and chicken and duck. Thank you, Jeanette. Isn't that cool? That's really, really nice. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We'll make them happy that day, extra happy that day. Um, Kobe's. I mean, not Kobe's. <coughs> I can't even blame it on cold medicine because I have to take them. Nice <laughs> Be nice. Be nice. Well, we certainly can't do that because Zelda's in the way. Whoa. This is, um, it says CMB collection, so it must be, whoop, there's no, what is that, it looks pretty cool. Oh, we have a note. For a flash sale from, is it Michelle and John in New York? Oh. <laughs> Is that, is that cute or what? Could you guys make a hand? You could. You could. You could lay it on your pillow or you could just put it by your kitty's bed or on the back of a chair. So that's pretty cool. Beautifully done. So you'll see this in uh, Michelle and John. Uh, thank you. You'll see this in a flash sale then. We'll keep your name there with it. <laughs> Is that cute or what? That's 
we just make a little mess on the floor. <laughs> um, this came from our friend Lan. Lan ML. Wow, Lan. I think I have a sticker for you on my desk. Oh, yeah. Oh, we Ruva. We Ruva True Lux. This is Peking Duckin with chicken and duck and gravy. Let me go get her slip though. Wow. So this is the second one that I talked about for Thanksgiving. So this is from Lan, two cases of weed ruva for Thanksgiving. So we have two different kinds of foods for their Thanksgiving meal. So we'll be able to mix them up a little bit. And this is Peking Duckin' with chicken and duck and gravy. Chicken, boneless, skinless, breast duck is boneless, skinless, breast. Pumpkin, potato. So they're going to eat really, really good. Man, thank you for this. This is really cool. And there's two cases of this. Peking duck and they'll probably eat better than what I will that day. I'll put this in the pin four and um, we'll keep that there. Gosh, that's just a week from tomorrow, isn't it? Week from tomorrow. I bet I could make um, <coughs> gravy from one of those. <laughs> I'll bring you in Thanksgiving dinner. You have to get it. <laughs> deal? Uh, no deal. <laughs> There's got to be more involved. <laughs> well, that new tunnel is proving to be popular. The what? The new tunnel, the mini tunnel. Oh, are they playing with They've it? been going nuts, oh, so. Every time I went to pick it up, there was a kid. Oops, yeah. yeah. Clay's in it right now. This is from Christina H. Oh, and this is also, also for a flash sale. Oh, I remember, Christina, you talking about these. These are for flash sales, and there's paw print, paw print finders key purse chain. Mudgy, you got that? Finder, no, no, paw print finders key purse key finder. And also the other one is kitties finders key purse key finder. Whoa, let's see what these are. The original finder's key purse hooks onto your purse for an easy to find every time. I wonder if you could put these on a phone. I don't. I was so good in January about not losing my phone, and now I lose it. Oh, oh! Well, I get it. I get it now. Now I see what you're talking about. So this goes on your purse. And then your keys hook onto this. So you can keep your keys on there. And then you could even hang these up like on your um, your purse or your at when your visor in the car. Anything like that. You could hook them onto there's cute. That is cute. And and the paw print. So you will for sure see these in a flash sale. Yeah, that's that that's cool. So attach the clasp to the keychain and then put the hook on any kind of an edge. Oop it easy. There we go. Cool. Wow. So Christine, Christina. Thank you for these. Um, Lynette, I got a note on there. This is what it would be. 
Ten of each kind, Mudgy, so it's funny all together. Yeah, cool. So you'll see, see, that's how why our flash sales are fun. Because you get we get different stuff to show ya. Oh this is from PJ Panda and Bad Cat, Bad Kitty. Her kitty is awesome. I just know, I've never met Bad Kitty, but I know Bad Kitty's pretty cool. Elsie loves Bonito Flakes. Love Bad Kitty. So, oh, so Bad Kitty and Elsie might have a, have a Bonito Fling together. Look at this. These are the ones the cats really like, because when I pour these into our container. Of course, it gets sloppy and messy and everything spills on the floor. And the kitties get all those extras. These are each one pound. That's a whole pound of those, those flakes. Two pounds here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bad Kitty. There's a container in the storage room. Where those go? Right when you go in on the left. Oh, gosh. And this is something else we needed, too. This is Oh, this is perfectly chicken packet, and this one is also another case of perfectly chicken packets, and um, I love using these for breakfast. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? okay. All right. And uh, you know who's been really eating this is um, Sea Turtle. She's been eating it for probably two, two and a half weeks straight, so that's good. That's good. All right. Ooh, it's nice to have Lynette to help us move all this. I just throw those in. There's some things I can sit here and get kitty in. Who are you petting? Hensley? Yeah. yeah. It seems small for Hensley, though. He, you know, he is small. Is that um, Clay? It's got to be Clay or Brenna. Oh Nut, nuthead. Yeah, he's taking up the squishy bag that uh, Elsie. Look at Zelda. Isn't it <laughs> just the <laughs> cutest thing? She's just so. I I love her. Her. So now when I. Oh, it got up too fast. <clears throat> so now when I work at my desk, it's become known as the CH time. Because now I have Hensley, Vernon, Spiker, and now Lucy. And uh, today, um, um, oh, Ramsey. I held Ramsey too there. Oh, Da Vinci Mom. Da Vinci Mom. Thank you, Mudgy, for putting that name with the other one. Thank you. Now I know. Thank you, Mudgy. Thank you, Da Vinci. Um, so it's kind of cute, and it's so funny because I can only do it for maybe 10 minutes at a time, and then I have to put a cat down and stretch my leg, and there'll be another one right down there waiting on me. Oh, and and um, Magic, too. Magic's there a lot, too. This box is from Lorraine K., who is Kitty Lover. Lorraine K., who is Kitty Lover. Oh, this is a Christmas gift for Ramsey. I wonder if we should. The whole box? Yeah, but I'm not sure if we were supposed to open it now. Oh, we save it for Kitty Christmas? Oh, thank you, Dark Cat. She's trying to catch up at home. I missed her today, too. Um, is Lorraine on, Kitty Lover? We can bring Ramsey over, and he he won't care if we don't. The Ramsey will love it if we open it. Ramsey, you will bring him over. Ramsey's got a heavy box. <clears throat> this is whatever's in here is not for you, kid. It's you or you or you. Bummer. Ramsey, uh, but Ramsey will probably share. 
Yeah, when we're done here, we'll give you all some updates on things and kitties. Whoa, Ramsey. You hit the jackpot, dude. They're wow. Those are your colors. Marine, kitty lover, thank you. Maybe I'll try a different one. Look at this. There's two, three, four, five, six, six of the Frisky's Gravy Sensations. And he loves these. These are for you. Here's, look at what he's doing to his whiskers. He's breaking, he's got them full off. You silly boy. He's so great. You got six boxes. Are they going to share? It's like, yeah, yeah, open them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> open them right now. He does like these. So, kitty lover, thank you. I'll put one up there right now, and I'll, I'll make sure he gets some. Maybe Barb will feed him some tonight, too. Yeah, there's, so there's two little boxes in each one. Yeah, you hit the jackpot, dude. <laughs> He's, he's one special boy. <laughs> he's, on my okay. he's like, where my treats go? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Merry Christmas, Ramsey. We'll start using them tomorrow or tonight. Blows my mind that he was outside. Just, he was in the video that I got of him was of him in a garden. Yeah. Hey Steve, you want to carry this out to the cave? We should write Ramsey on here. <laughs> oh. It's kind of heavy. Huh? Thank you. We still can't get to that. But we're waiting for Zelda to move, but we still have two boxes. We could do a couple of these. <laughs> That's, can you see? That's uh, my Bonnie girl back there. This is from Dottie. Oh, oh, it looks like for the flash sale. Yep. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. Yes, yes, it is. It's for the flash sale. No, there's also one of those small envelopes that has a bunch of white circles that oh, okay. have flipped out a Let's couple times. Care, so. that Daddy, we'll get you taken care of. Yep. And this one is from Joyce A. from California. He does. He loves his, his gravy foods. Um, this is from Joyce A. from California. Wishing you and FFRC volunteers all the simple pleasures and little joys that make a holiday happy. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Donation for FFRC and two CDs for use as needed. So the donation is for FFRC. We'll use it, she said, as needed. And we will send her two of our um, the, the CDs that Mike made for us. And Joyce, thank you for your help. I appreciate you very much. And we have to, I think the best way to do this is I'll put this in here, Joyce, so I have your address, and I'll write um, two CDs on here. Thank you, Joyce. Appreciate this. Yeah, boxes. Boxes, yeah, Robert. And, oh, this is for Fabio... Fabio's Friday. This is Calico from Calico Cat. <laughs> Mary, and who is Mary H. Calico Cat for Fabio's Fiber. And 
Friday community outreach. So I'm, I am, I just don't know what happened today, but I got way behind on my computer work. So some of you folks that have been sending in the Flavio Fridays today is going to be counted in on Thursday because I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened. I just got behind. So, um, Calico Cat, your Fiber Friday donation will also be on Thursday's count. So, thank you for that very much. You know what has been kind of cool about Fabio's thing is that I, that was hard for me at first to see all those gorgeous pictures of, in the video. It just, you know, kind of hit me. And that was a really hard loss. But now as this time has gone on this week, and um, I see how wonderfully receptive you all are on helping us with Fabio's Fiverr Friday. It's um, brought me back a lot of the really awesome, fun memories that I have of Fabio. Oh, okay. And so I've kind of gone from Oh, Fabio too. He's such a great kid. He was such a great cat. So I appreciate that very much. And he was a perfect greeter. He was. He, he would drew, drew. drew everybody's <laughs> eyes to him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We can't bring so him anonymous. back. Anonymous. Anonymous for fiber. fiber fi Fabio. Fabio. Mudgy, could you put? We have anonymous. Um, for another um donation for Fabio's fiber fiber yeah dark cat I know and it is it's been a really a big honor for Fabio and he would he would have liked it because he had fun swatting all those cats around out there so he would have enjoyed being a part of part of this cool thing that we're doing and so while we're on that subject Fabio uh, fiber um, on Friday, which is now just uh, just two days away, we've been working on showing you what all of your money is is has been helping us with and will help us with the medical part. We're going to be able to show you visual things, and um, and for that, I'm very grateful for for you all helping us with with these costs. His drool was welcomed, wasn't it? He was just awesome. This came from Bryan, Ohio. Carrie, spelled K-A-R-I. Carrie S-R. Oh, this was for an adoption. So, Mudgy, this one you don't have to put on there. This was just to cover an adoption that she did. We'll do a couple more. I'm hoping that she'll move. This is from Clark and Jesse's family. I'm hoping that she'll move. She's not going to be moved. She'll need to join You got to move, girl. Says the best friendships can't be explained. Oh, Nancy. Yeah. Mama Jackie. Oh, here's a fiver from each of us for Fabio's Fiver Friday. Your friend Clark. They're just meant to be enjoyed. So this is from Clark. Jesse, Glinda, Mystery, Lucy, and Vicki and Patrick, the two 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 leggers. Ah, there we go. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. This will go on to Fiber Friday for Thursday. Yeah, thank you. Mm. He had the best way of looking innocent when you knew oh, darn well he did what he did. <laughs> he was the one that we had to, uh, for some reason, when workmen come here, they leave their trucks and vehicles wide open. It's like I never figured that out. But um, I always kept saying, you better shut your doors because we have two great sprayers here. And one of them was Fabio. And, uh, and he would very much do that when they left the Inside the cat. Oh, my. Well, you know, if you leave those big back doors open and... 
Gosh, there's all kinds of good smells in there. Yeah, he liked it. Today is the day to celebrate. Oh, Whiskers, have some fun and celebrate. Then have yourself a year. That's great. Happy seventh birthday, Whiskers. His birthday was November 9th. Thank goodness that Clark and Jesse and the rest of the guys do this so I don't miss all of their birthdays. I try. So um, I do know for sure, though, that he got uh, a chicken on that day, but they'll get chicken again tomorrow, too. So thank you, Clark and Jesse, for the cheeky $5 for whiskers. And this one, I thought you guys were going. I know, she's here, but she got on the phone with one of her parents. Oh, so she's in there talking. Might as well stay here then, huh? She gets on the phone talking to everyone. <laughs> Usually it's the teenage kid. Aw. Aw. A fan in New Jersey. Oh, this is a gift card for PetSmart. Thanks to you and all of your volunteers for all you do for the kitties. And thank you for sharing the wonderful chaos. <laughs> oh, it's always chaos, I swear. At your shelter with all of us through the webcams. Best wishes, a fan in New Jersey. Thank you for the gift card from PetSmart. A fan from New Jersey. It's wonderful chaos. It's a great it's a, phrase, isn't it? It is. I always say it's organized chaos. It's not organized. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in your car. <laughs> yeah, we try. This one um, is from overseas, I know. Oh. Whiskers is a great cat. All the best to you at FFRC. Oh, this is Marilyn and Terry from the UK. And um, unless I hear different, we'll probably put this towards the chicken $5. Marilyn and Terry from the UK. Thank you. Love the card. Isn't she crazy? All right, Zelda, we have to have a box. Come on. Oh, here, I'll get this one. All right, we'll switch gears here. She's looking awfully relaxed there, though, isn't she? I'm surprised you don't have a kitty, Kiko. I know. You always have a kitty in your lap. Uh oh. I want Polly. I can't find him. I can't find him. I don't think I have him in the room. This is from Nancy K. G. Nancy K dash G. Did I drop it on something? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I just it felt like it for a moment. Well, I don't know, so we better open up, but there's there's three of these. <laughs> What do you think? Mm. Must be a... It's a gravy. It's a what? It's your gravy. It's gravy. It's gravy to go with that food we were going to make. Oh, I think we got some food bags. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so soft. Look at this, it's a bad. Oh wow. Really, really, really nice. Here, let me put the flaps down so maybe you can see it better. Nancy, K-G, thank you. You know, this this would be really nice too, to put out one, like one out in um, the sun porch. There's three of them. And one for the Porchy Haven and one in the firehouse so that the kitties stay extra warm this winter. Well, you're about to have a Zelda in one, so be careful. <laughs> come on, Dark Cat, come on. We'll shove you in there. 
it's isn't that nice? Not gonna happen and just think if we put a heater underneath here, yeah, they'll be cozy as and warm. Thank you, Nancy. Boy, and they are super, super soft. So, Nancy, if that's okay, we'll do that. We'll get these out tomorrow. And we have another box. There, and look yeah. who's going. Clark and Jesse have zero fear. And um, they know no fear. This came from Pennsylvania. Mudgy's probably shoot, going to shoot me for jumping around. Oh, this is from Christine L. From from Pennsylvania and this is in memory of Bob, Bob Little, our friend, yeah, Sherry, that's uh, Sherry's husband, in memory of Bob Little who with his wife Sherry traveled to FFRC and adopted Emily, Lena, and Maggie May. Thank you. Appreciate that. And this one, this is from Melissa L. from New York. Melissa, thank you. You're very kind to think of us. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. We've gotten several checks from you, haven't we? Oh, here we go. We have um, the weight circle. There's, uh oh, there's five, four of the weight circles. We'll put those in the container right now. And this is from, oh, Joy. Joy and Don. Where'd that come from? Joy and Don. Oh, it says, thank you for all you do. This is for October and November. Scritches for all the cats. So Joy and Don, they are awesome, awesome people from New York. And they sent a donation. And uh, also the the circle weights. Their check has a kitty on it. It says, you say cat lady on it. Oh, you say cat lady. Aw, <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Joy and Don. And I think we have one more, and Zelda got off the box, so we better nab that, that one then. <laughs> oh, and this is another one for Bob. Oh, but this is from his class of 72, Upper Darby class of 1972 from Pennsylvania in memory of Bob. Oh, Bob Little, so isn't nice. that nice? Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah, Sherry, we got to keep track of all of these. Okay, <clears throat> let's nab these before Zelda Belda Girl comes back. This is from Nona. Oh, didn't we open up the box from Nona today? Yeah, Nona, I only opened up one of your boxes today. Nona always says, Open it, stash it, put it away, and count it. Make sure that it's all accounted for. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's ten cases oh, of baby food from Nona. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that That's nice? a lot. That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Kestrel. Like Kestrel. Kestrel, like the bird? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Right? Is that Kestrel down there? Mm -hmm. A little fuzz ball that is in the You're doing great. Right. I know. You post it. I've enjoyed the picture. That Kestrel and Kike and um, Kike's okay. K Kester are awesome. Really nice, nice kitty. What's up, guys? Mary Jo. They don't even flinch, do they? The youngsters are, are not yeah. sure yet. Yeah. 
But anybody who's been here more than eight weeks is like no biggie at all. And we got our last box. Then I got something to show you. This is, doesn't tell me, so maybe we got a note inside. Oh, we got a note. But we don't know who this one's from. Kitten um, Pro Plan Chicken and Liver Entree. You know, I would like to take these in the back for those Persian babies. Maybe. Yeah, there's three cases here, it looks like, of the Pro Plan Chicken, and it's four kitty from, from Pro Plan. And maybe we can get them off of the gruel. Mm. I told them today, they got to quit grueling it. They need to get moving it. Well, they maybe can't dry people? They do some. Some of them do. Oops, sorry, Satori. And we have a big bag of the Purina Kitchen Chow. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, if you did this, you gotta let us know, or if you would like to let us know. <laughs> and check this out. Oh, that came off there really easy. Petite gourmet feeder and water -er set. is the, the water or I think yeah and that's the food one yeah then you have to take it off cool isn't that nice yeah thank you anonymous chewy donor sender helper of FFRC we appreciate this Very yeah. Uptown. yeah these are fancy smancy ones I think we'll just put these in the storage room and then I'll work on these tomorrow. All right, guys. I'll just set it here for a minute. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i good at making messes. I'll take this out there so we can get this to... We got somebody collecting boxes, so we'll get this box to that also. <laughs> Let me get something to show you here. One more package. We have one more package here. CMB collection, some, oh, here, here's our note. Because of Wilbur, for your fundraiser, Michelle and John in New York. Is that cute or what? 
because of Wilbur. Did you guys all get to see him here no, in person? Only on him. Thank you, oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Well, those of you take pictures for us. Isn't that cute? Look how nicely made that is. Yeah, he's a foodaholic. His nose is on the ground. How is his harness training going? I thought he was okay, but he was mostly free when me here. Thank you. This is so cute. Yeah, Michelle and John. Honey, wow. I don't think you should. Somebody like makes some cool baby. stuff. Heat in the refrigerator? No, but plan to jump for it. Oh. Ooh, 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 wow, sir. so little to do that. Um, oh so I wanted to show you again a little. Oh, gosh, we had the coolest thing today. Let me get this to show you. We had we had surprises at the door today. That was really awesome. Um, hey, and Maji, we also had someone come that, her name is Jessica, and she brought some blankets and some canned food. So Je Jessica brought some blankets and canned food, and I appreciate it. So we have... <clears throat> We have a bank here, First Federal, and today, this morning, we had somebody come in and brought us this card. This one's on us, and there's, uh, uh oh, I lost my paper with it. Um, well, there's a donation in here. Um, <clears throat> And uh, these these uh, people came and brought this for us from First Federal. But here's another one. And this was two bags, um, a snackers, a towel, two beds, and a case of Fancy Feast kitten, Kittens. And then, and then we had a third delivery. Had a bag of dry, a big bag of dry, a small bag of dry food three jugs of litter, and a bag of snackers. So we had three folks coming in with these. And what it is is First Federal believes in um, paying it forward. And so they give their employees, I, the, I think I understand this right, they give their employees $10 at each, and they are to do something good for the community. And we had three of three groups come in because of this. Oh, that is so nice. So they bought, one group, you know, bought things, another one donated the money to us. Um, but they all, all cared enough that they came and they get time, they got time off from work oh to gosh, do that as to well. <laughs> we have a branch involved in I asked them about it too, because uh, I thought it was so cool. And one of them said that, and they could do whatever they wanted, however they wanted to spread it. So um, I guess one lady or man changed it into quarters and um, went into a kind of like a, a, some area where there was a um, laundromat and laid out quarters for people to do. Um, and, and she said someone was going to, um, like through a coffee place and pay for the one behind you. Just different things like that. So I thought that was really cool. So, I wanted to show you what's going on with Fabio's thing. You got, you got like that realtor here to buy and yes. back. Yes. No. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. cool. And the college, you know, is so wonderful too. It's just a, it's a good community. So Jeez. Friday, um, on on our Fiber Friday, we took in four hundred and sixty-five dollars for Fiber. You are really a killjoy. For Fabio Friday. He's going to be one. Saturday, we took in five hundred and eighty dollars. Sunday, we took in $230. Monday, we took in $130. And Tuesday, 
we took in $385. And today, I don't have it yet, but I'll count it in the morning. And like I said, I'm behind on the email, so I'm glad we've been able to spread this out over a week so I can keep trying to get caught up. Wow. So we've done already for Fabio is 1,790. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, really, really cool. And then, um, let me put this away so I don't lose it and I'm gonna show you all something. Oh, you wanna put it? Oh, there's a thing on top of my desk for the kitties, Leon. You wanna put it under, under it? that? Okay. Yeah, so they might not come up. Kitty? Thank you. London. I don't know if you guys have seen him very close yet. He looks a lot like Mary Cho. Um, London is our little gray and white baby. He was found on a door step all by himself. No mama, no siblings. Sure seem to have a lot of those, don't we? He came in on the 13th. What day is today? So two days ago. And uh, he's got ear mites. He's, he's the bug boy. I told him lovingly that he was the bug boy. He had, came in with ear mites, um, just a wee little bit of fleas, and he's the one that has a little fungal thing going on too, which is not really a true bug. She is the most uncoordinated cat. Vera, I can relate. She's so funny. So he's doing much better on all accounts. Um, I had to bring him up here to do his quarantine, which I don't like to do because all my quarantine areas are full, but we've got them over there in what used to be the volunteer pen. And we had to clean it and a little stinker pot. I put him on the table and said, you stay right here. And he took off. I don't understand. So he checked him. Yeah, he took right off. And we had to hunt for him. So he was on the floor when he wasn't supposed to be yet. So you can tell he's been eating really good. He's already got the FFRC <laughs> belly down pat, don't you? We have another kitty, too, I'll show you here. Hang on. Hey, hey. Not that. This one and the one that looks about like I get to play together. Are they litter pants? I think so, yeah. They should look yeah. like it. Clay and Brianna. That's Clay. This is Brianna. Good. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it. Leave those ears back and give it what for. This is our little boy. This is his buddy. I know you want to come up here, don't you? He probably will be up here tomorrow. Get your nose where it doesn't belong. Um, well, what happened? Was that you? Uh huh. I he did, he got a couple pokies today. Maybe he's got oh. a couple owies. So I do not have a name for this boy yet, but he ran across the road in front of one of our people that work here, and um, he stopped and got out of the car and called him and the kitty literally jumped into the car and sat on the seat like, okay, where's my next trip? I'm ready. So 
So he brought him over and I said, are you sure he doesn't belong to anybody? And he said, well, there were no houses right there in that whole area. I've got him down as six months old. His birthday is 5, 13, 17. And um, he came in pretty healthy. He's got some ear stuff going on, but he's not neutered. Oh. So we'll get him neutered on Saturday. Um, he'll probably come up here tomorrow because he's really getting antsy. He played, I put a toy in his pen today. He spent a half hour playing with one toy, just batting it back and forth. He kind of broke my heart because he, I know he wants out. He does not have a name yet, Laura. <coughs> R Ricky, for Richie, who is the one who found him, wanted to name him um, Hitch for a hitchhiker. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So, yep, he's a little no-name yet. Okay, and I have one more. Just one more. This one is this one's sibling. This is our Zooey. So this is Zooey. Um, I just love her. Love her, love her, love her. Um, she doesn't mind. I can syringe feed her all what we need to do and she just takes it in. You got a little food on your lip. Is she gaining a little bit? She did. She's gaining four ounces. Oh, yeah. She's been here a week now, a little over a week. And uh, I just kind of wish she'd pick up the pace a little bit, you know. I know it's okay, though. Whatever you want to do is okay. Mm. She likes to be held. She uses the litter box all the time. Whoop, Zooey. I love you, Zulu. Yeah, I think she's kind of falling for you, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're, we're, we're a good team, aren't we? Yeah. She really is. Just breaks my heart to think of her being out there that long with no food. Yeah. But um, she's getting good stuff now. And uh, I want to thank Donna JB, too. She went out of her way to go up to Brian because I ran out of the specialized um, food for her. Uh, the A and D, it's very easy to, it's got really good uh, vitamins and nutrition, calories and protein. And I thought I had more and I didn't. So Donna went up to uh, Brian yesterday and picked up a whole case for you. So, <laughs> oh, if she would eat a sardine, I'd eat one with, you know, it'll just take some time. 
Yeah. All right. So, and then I just wanted to remind you all, Saturday is our surgery day. I have not been bad. I have not even um, made the surgery list up yet, but hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, you can do it, can't you? Mm-hmm. The Persians aren't anywhere close yet, are they? No, the Persian mommies will get spayed. But unfortunately, I don't have a home for them yet. I have I had people of interest, but they really need to go into a home where they're uh, where they're by themselves. Cause I just don't think they're going to be good with other kitties around. Yeah, it was Donna's day off. Yeah. No, she can use it again. Yeah, thank you, babe. Jossie was cleaning her pin for me while we were out. And then, um, so technically the Persians could be adopted probably in another two weeks if we have homes for them. And then I think it's the third Saturday of December, uh, the babies, the baby Persians will all be um, spayed or neutered. And then they will be able to go to their new homes then. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yes. I dare say they are spoiled rotten. All right, and is there anything else mods you guys know of? Seems like I'm forgetting one thing. Your eyes look tired. I noticed that, thank you. They're all like that. These trebles? Who's the trebles? Oh, the Persian babies, two of them are still really lightweights. They're at like 104, 106, and then we go clear up to Shalimar, who is 204. Oh, my gosh. Mommies will be home first, yes. <laughs> That's what it was, wanted to tell you. Um, yes, we did get Dandelion Hope's uh, Necropsy back. Oh, that was another thing, too. And um, it did come back with a virus. Uh, nothing that we can really treat or be of too big of concern um, that we can do things with. So um, we learned a lot of things by having a lot of negatives. So that's good. wasn't anything that we could have done and wasn't anything that I can say, oh, I wish we could have done this or could have done that because it wouldn't have mattered. Um, but when we do have a bit of good news on uh, Marilyn, all of her stool samples, which we sent in, was a very complex stool lab workup, and they were all negative. That's, I was sure... Man, I kept saying they got to be negative because we worm the heck out of these cats. I mean, I think we go way above and beyond for internal parasite control, and she was negative. So, <laughs> that's okay, robot. It's this Saturday. Yeah, day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is surgery. Yes, and I've got to get the surgery list done tomorrow. Those necropsies and sweet samples don't come cheap either, do they? They are not cheap. The necropsies sometimes go anywhere from 250 to 350 And we sent in everything. And we we just want to learn, you know. We want, we want to know why and we want to learn. And a lot of times we read good information. And there's never a necropsy that we do that I wish we hadn't and I've done because the one on Dandelion ruled out a lot of things that could have been really, really, really bad here, and those were all negative. So, um, I got to sneeze, I think. Um, but we, we usually learn something from it. And all the negative things that came back on Dandelion um, showed us that, for the most part, we're, we're pretty healthy here with her. Yeah, today's only for Wednesday, yep. Um, and I was also thrilled with that, that complex 
uh, stool thing that we did is not cheap either, but it really reinforced to me that we are doing our parasite control thoroughly. We're doing no, a good I job on that. Control, it would be, it's it would be bad because they could, it would be on everybody's feet and mm -hmm. we used to do only, the, the kind of a long time ago it was always, thank you Sufi, we would look at, um, we would only do two of the pie rentals and one Droncet. Well, then we were still finding roundworms. Mm -hmm. So we raised it up to three. And then by golly, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. we were finding more, still a, an occasional roundworm um, from a cat. So I talked to the vets and, you know, they were, they understood because they see it too. And they had suggested that we do it every two weeks until they're not really little baby kitties anymore. So we end up doing like seven, even sometimes eight by rentals. I'm happy if we get five in. Um, but those little boogers, the little roundworm, little things, they hide in the intestinal tract. And I swear when the medicine goes by, they say, bye. <laughs> so we get them. And then the panic here, you know, we do that like, oh, maybe three times a year. It used to be only twice. We only used to do it three times. That's kind of the protocol is three days. But our, our vets had said, just in case they ha would have Giardia, to do it five days. So we bumped it up to five. And then lo and behold, we had one cat that came up positive for Giardia after having five days. So after more consultation with our vets, they said, do it seven days, six or seven days. That way, if something happens, they spit some out or whatever, you know, that we're good. And we haven't had any positives since then. Always give them a little extra for spittage anyhow, because they all spit a little bit out at me. That's that yellow stuff? No, that's the white. Oh, okay. But they don't mind the powder at all. So if I'm doing a group, I can do powder. Thank you, Snickers. All right, well, I'm going to take off. I'm not sure if you guys are doing trivia tonight or not, but I'm going to take off so I can do my mom and uh, let you guys have your time. All right, thank you all for being here and being our friend. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Sufi. Stay there. Huh? I bet you're gonna stay here. I can hold them too. 